the top 10 best TV shows set in Miami. In a city that's as colorful and diverse as Miami, Florida, there's always something interesting happening, which might explain why so many TV shows and movies are set there. So today, we're looking at the top English language TV shows that are set in Miami. Here's Julio! <laughs> so are you going to... Lifesaver. Yeah, then we're going ready. Hey! Before we start, remember that the TV series in this video are listed in no particular order, and that from now on, spoiler warning is in effect. This is TV Show Pilot, and here are the 10 best TV shows set in the city of Miami. CSI Miami. You need to talk to your survivor. He's in a coma. Not anymore. Grace Memorial just called. He woke up. The entire CSI franchise is a classic with the crime drama fans. The first show in the CBS franchise, CSI Crime Scene Investigation, was set in Las Vegas, while its spin-offs were located in cities like Miami, New York, and Washington, D.C. CSI Miami was the first direct spin-off in the popular franchise and follows the detectives and CSI unit of the Miami-Dade Police Department. Led by Lt. Horatio Kane, an expert in explosive forensics, and his partner, Detective Callie Duquesne, the team's ballistics specialist, the team of CSI works to investigate the evidence and solve crimes all across the city. Miami Vice Six months ago, a guy comes up to me outside of a club in Little Havana, hands me a suitcase. NBC's Miami Vice is one of the oldest shows on this list, having aired between the mid to late 80s, but its impact is still felt to this day. Not only is it often referenced in pop culture, but it has also served as inspiration for movie adaptations, video games, esports teams, and even a name change for a Miami County. Miami Vice follows Metro-Dade Police Department detectives Sonny Crockett and Rico Tubbs from the Vice Squad as they fight to end the growing industry of drug trafficking and apprehend those behind the drug game. The Baker and the Beauty Vanessa, Princesa. I know you all think Vanessa's a bit much, but she's driven. The excitement was abound when news spread of the American adaptation of the hit Israeli series Beauty and the Baker. Since the original is credited to be one of the best scripted series in Israel. Sadly, despite the show's feel good vibe and focus on a Latin American family, it was cancelled after just one season. ABC's The Baker and the Beauty follows Daniel Garcia, a Miami local of Cuban descent who works at his family's bakery. His life gets turned upside down when he meets supermodel Noah Hamilton. Sparks fly between the two and they have to decide if they're ready to upend their lives to be together. Jane the Virgin And the reason the test came back positive is I accidentally inseminated you two weeks ago. Next up, we have the CW's Jane the Virgin. Jane Villanueva is a young Venezuelan-American who has vowed to remain a virgin until marriage. One day, her gynecologist accidentally artificially inseminates Jane during a routine checkup. So now she has to come to terms with motherhood and decide what's best for her and her child. There are so many things to love about Jane the Virgin. Not only does it have an amazing cast led by Gina Rodriguez, but the show also tackles many complex yet timely issues. And the hilarious way that it intentionally uses and pokes fun at the typical Spanish telenovela tropes is what makes it such a joy to watch. The Golden Girls I just wonder what my husband George would think about me and Harry. Well, if he was alive, he probably would not like it. <laughs> Yet another Miami Central TV show set in late 80s, NBC's The Golden Girls has also cemented its reputation as a cult classic. Even more than three decades later, it's still being referenced in pop culture and has spawned spin-offs and many international adaptations. The show portrays the personal lives and friendships of four older women living together in one house. After responding to an ad on the bulletin board of a local grocery store, a widow, Blanche Devereaux, becomes roommates with a fellow widow, Rosen Island, and divorcee, Dorothy's Bornack. The three are later joined by Dorothy's mother, Sophia Petrillo, after her retirement home burns down. And so forms the iconic friendship between these four women 
that mostly unfolds in the kitchen of their shared home, where they share stories of their lives and exploits. Ballers. What the fuck are all these people? Over the past years, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has successfully molded his career as an actor, not just within the action genre, but in more comedic roles as well. And one of his most recent projects is the HBO original series Ballers. Set in the action-filled world of American football, Johnson plays Spencer Strassmore, a former NFL superstar who was in the midst of switching careers post-retirement. He used to play for the Miami Dolphins, but now he's a financial manager who just wants to help manage finances for his friends who are still in the league. However, finding clients is not as easy as he thought, but Spencer is determined to achieve as big of a success off the field as he did on it. Dexter Probably a very sharp knife. Look at the blood spatter, look at the patterns. It tells a story. You see this big pond of blood right there? If you're a fan of the psychological crime thriller genre, then Showtime's Dexter should definitely be on your must-watch list. Despite being set in the sunny city of Miami, it's got a pretty dark undertone. The eponymous character, Dexter Morgan, is harboring a dark secret. During the day, he's a mild-mannered forensics expert specializing in blood spatter pattern analysis. But at night, He's a vigilante serial killer whose only victims are the criminals who have escaped the justice of the Miami Metro Police Department. His murderous compulsion may have good intentions, but Dexter has to constantly struggle with the dark and light side of himself. Burn notice. Who's home right now? I'm sorry, I can't help you. I have a wire transfer number 0210010. For those of us uninitiated in the language of espionage, a burn notice is a document that informs intelligence agencies that a certain source or agent has been, for all intents and purposes, fired. When this person has been burned, they are no longer affiliated with their organization and lose access to whatever resources and protection were previously available to them. In USA Network's burn notice, Michael Weston is unexpectedly burned in the middle of an operation and is subsequently forced to return to his Miami hometown to pick up the pieces of his life. Using his special training and the skills he's picked up along the way, he works as a private investigator to help clients with their issues while trying to figure out why he was even burned in the first place. Rosewood. I'm sorry, yeah, go, no, no, go ahead. It's okay, you go. No, no, I'm still processing this. I, I, think that, that, I thought you were still processing. Well, I was, but then I finished processing, so now I'm ready. Fox's Rosewood is yet another police procedural, but with a slight twist as it is primarily set outside the confines of an official law enforcement organization. Rosewood takes its title from the show's main protagonist, Dr. Beaumont Rosewood Jr., a private forensic pathologist. Although he works out of his own firm in Miami, he also often helps Detective Annalise Villa of Miami PD solve their most complex crimes. Rosewood's personal battles with illness allow him to approach his cases with heightened observational skills and a live life to the fullest attitude, often to the annoyance of Detective Villa. And last but not least, we have Nip Tuck. The next time you've got some little size 4 on your table and you're giving her liposuction she really doesn't need, you think of my Joey. Ryan Murphy has a slew of amazing shows under his belt across various genres, including Glee, American Horror Story, and Pose. But what a lot of people don't know, however, is that he also created Nip Tuck, a popular medical drama that aired throughout the 2000s. FX's Nip Tuck follows the professional and personal lives of the owners of McNamara Troy, a popular plastic surgery center based in Miami, though the fourth season sees its relocation to Los Angeles. In particular, we focus on Dr. Sean McNamara, a man struggling to keep his family intact, and his business partner, Dr. Christian Troy, a serial womanizer who uses his charm to bring in more clients for their business. Do you agree with our choices for these best TV shows set in Miami? Let us know in the comments! 
Check out tvshowpilot.com for the full list of the best TV shows set in Miami. And don't forget to subscribe to the TV Show Pilot YouTube channel for more videos like this.